Hello, beautiful soul. How are you all doing? I hope you are well. We are going to get messages for you today from your spiritual guides to find out what it is that you need to hear at this moment in time. So let's find out what that is for you. Let's find out what information will come out for you, whomever you may be. I do see that card sticking out so much, so I'm not going to ignore it. I'm going to take it out so long. It's an interesting one. Okay, what a beautiful card. I'm going to show you how beautiful this card looks in a moment. But let's get two more out as well so we can get more information out for the message you need to get. But you are going through a rebirth here in your life. You are having... Uh, this is an interesting reading. I'm so curious to see where this is going to go. First card out is rebirth the energy. Let me move the card just a little bit like that. That is so beautiful. The rebirth in your life. I love everything about this card. I love the colors. I love the rainbow. There is a rainbow. I love the colors. I like the unicorn, okay, in the flower as well. It is absolutely beautiful. It is a rose unfolding. All right, and it says here, reinvent yourself. Give life to your dreams and create a new reality. And if this is messages coming in from your spiritual guides, they are literally saying now is the time for you to start to move towards what it is you want to create. There's a helicopter flying over as well. So maybe that's a sign, okay? Raise your life up higher to a higher level. Um, give life to your dreams. What, what is it that you want to create? And move towards what that is. Because there's a new way of you being in this world showing up here with that reinvent yourself energy then we've got two other cards that have come up here that are very green in energy very heart spaced energy very interestingly enough if you are rebirthing your life here it seems to me that you are putting yourself into a place of leadership here with the leadership card coming up okay these are very beautiful cards here. Um, you're rebirthing yourself from a place where maybe you have not felt as if you were in power in your life or in leadership in your life. And it looks like you're moving yourself now to a place where you're going to be taking charge. You're going to be showing the way. You're going to be doing something that makes other people look at you and kind of go, this is, how can I put this? This is how to do it. This is how, how, how to do it. They're emanating you or you're guiding them on how to do it just by being the leader in your own life. But this could even be something more. It could be something more. You could be doing something here where you're either running a business or you're in charge of something or you sort of like running the show in some kind of way. And there's people looking up to you here. All right. Step into your leadership. Share your message. Sounds so much like the previous reading I did. That's why it's so interesting. Inspire and, and empower others. So there is something here where you either going to be running a business of your own, you're going to be leading people by example, or you're going to be leading people by word or by teaching them something coming up here. This is part of your rebirth energy. And then we've got, I've got hiccups again. Okay, sorry. Another beautiful card coming in called Nature. Okay, I this is something I feel for my own energy. I am so attracted to nature at this moment. I just feel like putting my hands into the soil for some reason and just reconnecting with Mother Gaia and our grandmother energies in the soil. Nature comes in here. Ground yourself. Find sanctuary in nature and connect with the elements. So, interesting enough, if I want to connect with the elements, okay, you can go out into nature to connect with the elements. And it doesn't even have to be a big forest that you're walking in with a river running, okay. It can just be outside somewhere. And you connect with these elements by feeling the wind on your skin, by connecting to the earth underneath you, even if it's only a concrete slab. Because even that concrete slab is of this earth, okay? By touching the trees around you or any plant or even stones and rocks as well. By 
with fire energy, it can be the sun. It can be just feeling the warmth of the sun on your face. That is an amazing way to connect with the elements. It's also important to connect with the elements as well because they are the, the four things that we have on this earth that creates all of reality. Um, it is the energies really that we call them spirit of fire, spirit of earth, spirit of air, spirit of water. And it is these spiritual energies that enable us to have this working with the planet as well. But it enables us specifically as human beings to have a human experience here on this planet. Without that, we cannot have the, the energies of creation at all. And if you're working with all these elements, remember these elements are also present in the tarot as swords wands, pentacles, they're there as well. And in the um, the magician card, the creation card, you will see all the, the elements being there. So use every part of yourself if you're going to start creating this new reality. Connect back to this earth. I think at this moment in time, I've got this really strong energy, I just feel it all the time, um, of like needing to reconnect back to earth, needing to reconnect back to this earthly planet. Because I feel like a lot of us are not really living the way we should be. And it doesn't have to be like you must go out there and live off grid. You can be living in a city and be completely connected to this planet, uh, to this earthly world, which is alive. This earth is alive. She is a female energy. She is our mother. She is our grandmother. Okay, and she is alive and she's very deep in energy and very serious in energy. She's very that grounded energy. And we need to reconnect with this energy and by doing to be able to create. To, you have to. I think if you're not connected to Mother Gaia, you will also not be able to create as smoothly as you want to. You have to have some kind of connection to what is creating on this planet to help you to create as well. And we are a part of her. We're a part of her energy. We are not separate from her at all. We're a part of her. We don't just live on this planet. We are the planet. We are Mother Gaia. We're an extension of what she is. Okay, so reconnecting to Mother Gaia is going to help you here to manifest this rebirth and lead you into leadership. There's a lot of healing that also takes place as well when you connect to the Mother Earth energy. And it helps you to heal because healing is needed for a rebirth. No rebirth will ever happen to you while you are carrying trauma, while you are carrying history and pain that will not be let go of. You will remain stuck where you are no matter how much you try to escape it. So reconnecting to the Earth, asking her to take the the pain out of you, asking her to heal your soul, asking her to give you the energy is what we really need to do. Because this earth is what we are. We are her, she is us. And if we are disconnected from her, we do not communicate with her, we do not send our energy to her so she can respond to us as well, we are never going to get anything right. Okay, we are too disconnected from this mother earth that we are on. And it's giving us advice here for you to reconnect because this big change wants to come in for you. And reconnecting right now, even if once a day, you just go stand in your garden, you know, or you go stand outside somewhere and you just close your eyes and just be in a moment and be like, I, I feel you. Thank you, Mother, for always holding me, for giving me this life, for keeping me safe, for keeping me warm, for sending the rain, for growing the food. We owe her our lives, our lives. So let's see what messages will come up here. We've got the High Priestess coming in here. Got to be in a spiritual way. We have got the Lovers and we've got the Four of Fire. That is without a doubt this rebirth coming in. And it is a good one, guys. It is so good. We've got the Seven of Air rocking up here as well with the leadership here. The Seven of Water. And the death card, your rebirth. Okay, then we are moving into the Council of Monarchs, the Three of Air. Such an interesting reading. If I can get my card out, the Three of Air and the Magician coming in as well. There, I'm just making sure. The Magician is here. I told you, I was just talking about the Magician card showing up here. That is exactly what I was talking about. 
I was just mentioning to you that you have to have this energy of working with all the elements. And in this in this card, it show and there the elements show up again. It shows up here twice in your reading. There is all the elements, and the elements show up in the magician, and it is in alignment, okay, with the card of the nature energy, which is crazy. We're starting right here. So jumping back to nature, um, I feel like this is definitely your path. I do feel like you have a spiritual path that you are going to be leading. I do feel like um, it is what you're supposed to be doing, almost like your life purpose being shown to you, who you're meant to be. Oh, this is so interesting. Like, if you reconnect with nature, yeah, you reconnect with Mother Gaia, your life purpose is going to be shown to you so much more easier. And you're going to be able to walk the path that you're meant to be walking. I can see it here. You are meant to manifest what this is. You, it's like the Council of Monarchs would be like this, the elements. And it shows up right next to the card that talks about reconnect with the elements. And it's showing you that if you reconnect to nature, to the elements that surround us and understand something that everything is alive, everything has a spirit, wood has a spirit, so trees have spirits, the air that blows in the sky, in the wind, the air that's moving and will be wind or it will be calm or whatever it will be, it has a spirit that creates that. The, the rain that falls, the river that runs, that is a spirit of its own as well. The earth the fire, all of these things are entities. We have to start responding to them as such. We have to start giving them that respect so that they can help us to manifest what we need to manifest. And, and with the nature energy literally showing up here is the three of air. It wants to help you heal. It wants to help you heal the pain that you've experienced, the, the feeling of being overlooked. That's interesting. Like the feeling that you are just a number, that is so interesting. It feels like I'm just a number and we are just numbers. We all got an identity number, so we're just a number out there, okay? It's like I am a number. I am not a part of something greater. I am just a part of this collective energy and I mean nothing. And that needs a lot of healing in you guys as well out there. To feel like you're insignificant, to feel like you do not matter, to feel like you're one of so many that almost feel the same way, that they don't matter. But every one of us matters. We wouldn't be here. We were a part of something greater. With the energy coming, I like the way I'm doing a reading from the bottom up, which is quite interesting. But with this energy coming in here, nature wants to heal that three of swords for you and give you a purpose and give you alignment. With the energy coming in, I can see exactly what the leadership is. You are here to give people choices. There's definitely a negative energy also in this reading. Um, that's got to do with the, the energy, the council. If you look in the background, there they are and there they are again. But there's something negative there that's almost like hiding in the background. That negativity can be what works against those four elements and nature. It can be what doesn't want us to have the freedom that we should be having and the lives that we should be able to be building for ourselves. It's almost like <coughs> even though the spiritual energies are working here on this planet to create the reality that we are living in, it's almost like there's another background energy sort of lingering, hidden from sight that doesn't want us to be able to be free that doesn't want us to be able to create or to have choices about who and what we want to be. And that shows up here as the seven of water. And I really feel like the seven of air, the seven of water, this is cups and swords energy. Like this is part of your own journey into what it is you're meant to become. It's part of your own journey into who you're supposed to step into, the, the role you're supposed to be playing. And your own finding your freedom and realizing you have choices is only part of the journey for you to teach that to other people as well. Um, the greatest spiritual teachers right now are people sitting in their houses and sitting in their gardens and taking a walk up the road talking the truths of spirit 
and you hear these words coming out of their mouth and you're like, you're just the average Joe and the average Jane out there, like me, you know? And you just the person in the supermarket that is getting these, this information, that's getting these downloads and sharing it out there. And you look at people, just normal people, and they're, you're watching hundreds of thousands of people watching them, hearing them, being led by them in the leadership position. So it's not like you have to become Deepak Chopra or Sadhguru or something like that. In fact, don't become those things. Be you. And don't, you don't have to have a stage with, um, where you walk around the world and you can if you want to. But you can also be leading from your own energy and from your own space and from your humbleness as well. Where that is in fact sometimes what spirit is using more than the bigger energies. Because they want, they're not getting heard, first of all, the way that they want to get heard. Sometimes some of the bigger leaders that we'll see out there, as amazing as they are, can get also caught in the bureaucracy of politics of what they do. And so they begin to say what needs to be said, but it's more for the business point of view. So they're running a business out there. They've got employees, they've got offices, they've got everything going on there. They've got companies that even work for them. And it's a business that they're running. So it becomes very profit margin at the end of the day. And we move on to a place here where people like you, where people like me, spirit begins to choose those people. Because it's those people that start to speak the real truth and start to share the real messages. Because it's not about the business anymore. It's about just the channeling of what must be. And this part of your journey, I feel that takes you to this place where you are going to be heard in some kind of way. Even if it is just in your community, by the people that know you, by how you change your life and you become a leader to others watching you. Somehow this is happening. It becomes what changes not only your own lives, but other people's lives as well with a death card. And you have the rebirth here <laughs> coming up. Look and the death card in this reading. So you definitely have a change in your life here. And whatever that rebirth is, because now we are on the top row, it is something spiritual. Because the High Priestess comes up, first card out. And the last card, the Magician. High Priestess is the inner world. It is Divine Feminine Energy. This is more Divine Masculine. Even though the Hierophant could be seen as the Divine Counterpart of the High Priestess. But... The High Priestess is an inner journey into the mysteries of life, into Mother Gaia, into spiritual world, into connecting to the elements in a way that is not seen as practical, you know, scientific. It is you sitting there, closing your eyes and feeling something that cannot be measured, that cannot be scientifically proven. But that is the real truth. The real science lies there. And that's the path that you are on. And that understanding of the inner world and the cycles of this nature and who we are enables you to then work in the outside world. Because once you understand the flow of this world and you feel the energy of this world, who we are, the spiritual energies, what everything that lies around us, the even flow of all the beings that truly surround us and we don't even know. It's the way that I pick it up. This is a highway, guys. It is so busy out here, okay? There's entities passing you, moving through you, observing you, moving on, they're not even noticing you at that time. It is a melting pot, truly, of everything that is spiritual. And we're in that melting pot and we don't even know it. We feel like we're not even in the pot. We feel like we're on the other, we're not even in the kitchen. We're, we're in another room somewhere. We're in the basement, maybe the attic. I don't know. We don't even know we're a part of it. We're so disconnected. And it is our time now to reconnect to all of those things so that we figure out how to actually be in this world. That is our job. Your journey into the spirituality, let's go here, is your path. The lover's card. We've got Gemini in your reading with the lover's card. It is your, and we've also got Scorpio in your reading as well. It is your journey. 
this is what was meant for you with the lover's card. It is a journey that is your path. You are aligned with this direction that you're going in. You are aligned with the person you're meant to become. So I do feel like whomever I'm reading for, I do feel like you're already somehow on this path. You're definitely in the high priestess energy, even if you're a man or a woman. And this is what is going to bring in that rebirth. And there it is, Four of Wands, because Four of Wands is the rebirth energy where you become, you step into a new cycle in your life, first of all, and you become somebody else. You become somebody else who is very different from what you are now. But in that Four of Wands energy, you are celebrating your life. And this is your direction. This is where you're going. I still want to look under the deck here. The Ace of Fire. There's your new beginning. It shows the lessons you've learned. It shows how difficult it's been for you to navigate through the things in life that wanted to break you, wanted to hold you back. But there's something inside of you. And I can see with the Ace of, uh, the Ace of, of A, not Fire, the Ace of A energy as well, that sword energy. It is so tied to you knowing your direction. You knowing who you are. You having that sword and you're like, I'm going that way. And you aim the sword in the direction that you're going. And you know exactly who you are there. You know who you are. You know where you're going. And you know what it's going to take to create this. And in fact, there's nothing stopping you here. You've got the inner power. I don't know if you can see this very clearly. But she is holding up her hand and she's chasing off the dragons. And these dragons are these kinds of energies. The Seven of Swords. And you're doing it. You're pushing them back. You're handling the darkness. You're handling negative energies that work through other people to stop you. Okay? And you are pushing it back. And you have that sword. And that sword is showing you where you are going. And the path that you are going, it is your path. It is where you're meant to go. That leadership is who you are meant to become in this rebirth. There we go. Thank you so much for being here one more time, guys. If you are here for the first time, please do consider to subscribe to the channel if that is what you want to do. Otherwise, I'm sending all my love to you guys. Do remember to also hit the thumbs up as well um, so that the videos can be promoted on YouTube. Otherwise, I'm sending my love to you as I always, always do. Thank you for being here and thank you for being available to receive this message from Spirit Guide. Bye.